morning, Lord bless. Good to be back with you again today and continuing reading in the Word of God. Today we're going to be reading Numbers chapters 13, 14, and 15. And there are a lot of names. So hold on. We'll do our best and just keep on going. And um, so today we'll start out Numbers chapter 13. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men, that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, sent them from the wilderness of Paran. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. And these were their names of the tribe of Reuben, Shammua, the son of Zakur, the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat, the son of Hori, <clears throat> of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, of the tribe of Issachar, Egal, the son of Joseph, of the tribe of Ephraim, Oshia, the son of Nun, of the tribe of Benjamin, Halidi, Haliti, the son of Raphu, the, of the tribe of Zebulun, Gadiel, the son of Sodi, of the tribe of Joseph, namely, of the tribe of Manasseh, Gedi, the son of Susi, of the tribe of Dan, Amiel, of the, of the, the son of Gamali, of the tribe of Asher, Sethur, the son of Michael, of the tribe of Naphtali, Nabi, the son of Vos, Vofsi, of the tribe of Gad, Gaul, the son of Maki. These are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Oshia, the son of Nun, Jehoshua. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan. And said unto them, Get you up this way southward, and go into the mountain, and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwelleth therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities they be that they dwell in, whether in tents or in strongholds, and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood therein or not. And be ye of good courage, and bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first ripe grapes. So they went up and searched the land from the wilderness of Zin unto Rehob, as men come to Hamath. And they ascended by the south, and came unto Hebron, where Ahaman, Shashia, and Talmud, the children of Anak, were. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt, and they came unto the brook of Eshcol, and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes, and they bare it between two upon a staff, and they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. The place was called the brook of Eshcol because of the cluster of grapes which the children of Israel cut down from thence, and they returned from searching of the land after forty days. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and it is the fruit of this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled, and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak, the Amalekites, dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites, Canaanites dwell by the sea, and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Numbers chapter 14. 
And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried, and the people wept that night. And the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, and the whole congregation said unto them, Would God that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would God we had died in this wilderness? And wherefore hath the Lord brought us into this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be a prey, where it be not were it not better for us to return into Egypt? And they said one to another, Let us make a captain, and let us return into Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the children of Israel, and Joshua the son of Nun, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes, and they spake unto all the country of the children of Israel, saying, the land which we passed through to search it is an exceeding good land. If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into the land and give it us a land which floweth with milk and honey. Only rebel not against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. But the congregation bade stone them with stones. And the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of the congregation before the children of Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, How long will this people provoke me? And how long will it be ere they believe me? For all the signs which I have showed among them, I will smite them with the pestilence and disinherit them, and will make of thee a greater nation and mightier than they. And Moses said unto the Lord, Then the Egyptians shall hear it. For thou broughtest up this people in thy might from among them, and they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land. For they have heard that the Lord are among his people, that the Lord art seen face to face, and that the cloud standeth over them, and that thou goest before them by daytime in a pillar of a cloud and a pillar of fire by night. Now if thou shalt kill all this people as one man, then the nations which have heard the fame of thee will speak, saying, because the Lord was not able to bring this people into the land which he sware unto them. Therefore he hath slain them in the wilderness. And now I beseech thee, let the power of my great of my Lord be great, according to according as thou hast spoken, saying, The Lord is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Pardon, I beseech thee, the iniquity of this people, according unto the greatness of thy mercy, and as thou hast forgiven this people from Egypt, even until now. And the Lord said, I have pardoned according to thy word, but as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Because all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles, which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness, and have tempted me now these ten times, and have not hearkened to my voice, surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers. Neither shall any of them that provoked me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit within him, and hath followed me fully, him will I bring into the land whereinto he went, and his seed shall possess it. Now the Amalekites and the Canaanites dwelt in the valley. Tomorrow turn you and get you into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to, unto Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation which murmur against me? I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel which they murmur against me. Say unto them, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness, and all that were numbered of you, according to your whole number, from twenty years old and upward, which have murmured against me. Doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swear unto you, make you dwell therein, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh and Joshua the son of Nun. But your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know the land which ye have despised. But as for you, your carcasses, they shall fall in the wilderness, and your children shall wander in the wilderness for forty years, and bear your whoredoms until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. After the number of days in which ye search the land, even forty days, each day for a year, shall ye bear your iniquities. For 
excuse me, iniquities even forty years, and you shall know my breach of promise. I, the Lord, have said, I will surely do it unto all this evil congregation that are gathered together against me. In this wilderness they shall be consumed, and there they shall die. And the men which Moses sent to search the land, who returned and made all the congregation to murmur against him by bringing up a slander upon the land, even those men that did bring up the evil report upon the land died by the plague before the Lord. But Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, which were of the men that went to search the lands, lived still. And Moses told these sayings unto all the children of Israel, and the people mourned greatly. And they rose up early in the morning and got them up into the top of the mountain, saying, Lo, we be here, and will go up unto the place which the Lord has promised that we have sinned. Moses said, Wherefore now do ye transgress the commandment of the Lord? But it shall not prosper. Go not up, from the, for the Lord is not among you, that ye be not smitten before your enemies. For the Amalekites and the Canaanites are there before you, and ye shall fall by the sword, because ye are turned away from the Lord. Therefore the Lord will not be with you, but they presume to go up into the mountain hilltop. Nevertheless, the ark of the covenant of the Lord and Moses departed not out of the camp. Then the Amalekites came down, and the Canaanites which dwelt in that hill, and smote them, and discomforted them, even unto Hormah. Numbers chapter 15 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come to the land of your inhabitants, which I will give to you, unto you, and will make an offering by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering, or a sacrifice in performing a vow, or in a free will offering, or in your solemn feast, to make a sweet savour unto the Lord of the herd of the flock. Then shall he that offereth his offering unto the Lord bring a meat offering of a tenth deal of flour mingled with the fourth part of an hen oil, and the fourth part of a hen of wine for a drink offering shalt thou prepare with the burnt offering or sacrifice for one lamb. Or uh, for a ram thou shalt prepare for a meat offering two tenth deals of flour mingled with the third part of an hen of oil. And for a drink offering thou shalt offer the third part of an hen of wine for a sweet savour unto the Lord. And when thou preparest a bullock for a burnt offering or for a sacrifice in performing a vow of peace offering unto the Lord, then shall he bring with a bullock a meat offering of three tenth deals of flour mingled with half an hen of oil. And thou shalt bring for a drink offering half an hen of wine, for an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. Thus shall it be done for one bullock or for one ram, for a lamb or a kid, according to the number that ye shall prepare. So shall ye do, do to every one according to their number. All that are born of the country shall do these things after this manner, an offering an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. And if a stranger sojourn with you, or whosoever be among you in your generations, and will offer an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord, as ye do, so shall do he do, so he shall do. One ordinance shall be both for you of the congregation, and also for the stranger that sojourneth with you, an ordinance for ever in your generations. As ye are, so shall the stranger be before the Lord. One law and one manner shall be before be for you and for the stranger that sojourneth with you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land, whither I bring you, then it shall be that when ye eat of the bread of the land, ye shall offer up an heave offering unto the Lord. Ye shall offer up a cake of the first of your dough for an heave offering. As ye do the heave offering of the threshing floor, so shall ye heave it. On the first of your dough, of the first of your dough, ye shall give unto the Lord and heave offering in your generations. And if ye have erred and not observed all these commandments which the Lord hath spoken unto Moses, even all that the Lord hath commanded you by the hand of Moses, from the day that the Lord commanded Moses, and henceforward among your generations, then it shall be, if all be committed by ignorance without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one young bullock for a burnt offering, 
for a sweet savour unto the Lord, with his meat offering and his drink offering according to the manner, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for all the congregation of the children of Israel, and it shall be forgiven them. For it is ignorance that they shall bring their offering, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord, and their sin offering before the Lord for their ignorance. And it shall be forgiven all the congregation of the children of Israel, and the stranger that sojourneth among them, seeing all the people were in ignorance. And if any soul sin through ignorance, then he shall bring a she-goat of the first year for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for the soul that sinneth ignorantly, when he sinneth by ignorance before the Lord, to make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. He shall have one law for him that sinneth through ignorance, both for him that is born among the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them. But the soul that doeth aught presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproacheth the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Because he hath despised the word of the Lord, and hath broken his commandment, that soul shall utterly be cut off, his iniquity shall be upon him. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. And they found him gathering sticks, brought Moses, excuse me, and they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation. And they put him in ward because it was not declared what should be done to him. And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall be surely put to death. And the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation brought him without the camp and stoned him with stones. And he died. And the Lord commanded Moses uh, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it, and remember the commandments of the Lord, and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a hoarding that ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. His desire was for them to serve him and love him and to allow him to be their God, to trust in him, to be able to keep them from their enemies, uh, from all harm. And Lord, help us, help us, help us with our faith, Lord. Put our faith and trust in him uh, to be able to keep us from our enemies, all our enemies, the devil, uh, those that, uh, and the scripture talks about that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world. That's the devil. And God can and wants to keep us from our enemy and his destruction. And he's able to, if we will put our hands in our lives into his hands and let him keep us uh, praise the lord for his word his goodness his truth uh, marches on and it will prevail it will prevail and last forever it will endure forever so glad to be able to read with you again today look forward to reading with you again tomorrow and seeing you encourage someone we are on july 1st so encourage somebody to join in uh with you uh in reading through the word of god Lord bless.